Here. Yeah, yeah. Here. Um, did you taste how well you drank very much? Of course. Yeah. But I have to do the interview first, if that's okay. Yes. That's okay. So All right. All right. Hello, Armin. Hello. You're in Kiev. <laughs> Dimitri. Kiev, welcome. Bobina in the house. In the house, yes. Okay. So this is my first time I'm trying to be a journalist. Uh, I'm going uh, to ask some interesting questions, Armin Van Buren. We're here in Kiev today. It's amazing, amazing, amazing good weather. So, Armin, my first question will be uh, uh, Worldwide superstar DJ or studio producer? What is your prior priority at the moment? Um, my priority is to make good music. I don't, you know, I, I enjoy the whole uh, DJ life, but you know, for me it's, it's about sharing music with people. It's not, it's not about being a superstar or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't like the word. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So, what was your first um, ever record deal? Tell me about it. Was it really interesting? Was it Blue Fear or not? No, 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 no. My first ever record deal was for a track called Deep Inside the Mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a track that I did for a compilation in The Hague. And it was in 1993. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Yuri, yeah. focus on me a little. <laughs> okay. And uh, interesting question. Uh, your for example, in uh, your album Shivers, you worked with uh, different vocalists. And uh, do you think uh, that working with differ, uh, different vocalists, for you, it's like uh, uh, to mix a compilation together? Because you know, for example... Putting things together? To yes, put put it in put one. In the, uh, ca uh, ca I don't know how even to say. So the, the, the question is, uh, working with different vocalists, is it uh, kind of mix a different style compilation together? Or no, for you, not, it's no, 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 really. I think when I did Shiver, see, I can talk to you very interesting about very intelligent music mm -hmm. or whatever, but for me, making Shivers was just about having fun. Mm -hmm. I was having fun with the people that I worked with on the album. You know, most important thing, if people hear that you're having fun making music, they can hear the music and say, this music is original, comes straight from his heart, you know. I didn't feel pressure, I just wanted to make nice tunes, that's it. Uh -huh. Like like you, you know, uh, just make make music because you want to make music. Yes. And kind you of love hobby. the music. Yeah, I like the whole kind of, kind yeah. of hobby. Yeah. Yes. And another interesting question about the vocals. Did you ever try, or maybe you have a dream, have a dream to try to sing yourself? No. <laughs> okay. Why not? Why not? I'll, I'll leave that up to BT. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> BT is the only one who can get away with that. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, everybody knows uh, that Armada, your label at the moment, from at least from Trans, is one of the most massive, massive label. And tell me, what uh, makes the, the, your company different and unique from another companies, in your opinion? I think that we we ask the artists what they want. We don't tell the artists what they should do. You know, uh, a lot of comp record companies say, we like your track, you come with us, you sign. But with Armada, it's like, we invite the artists and we say, hey, what do you want? And Remy came to us, he said, I want to have a label. He gets a label. Mike mm -hmm. says, I want to have my label. Of course, we have to believe in the product and we have to believe in the idea. But we basically... The artist tells us what to do. Times have changed, you know. It's no longer the record companies that decide what gets released. The, mm -hmm. the ultimate respect for the artist is the most important. And because I'm an artist myself, that's the philosophy I wanted to start the company with. You know, uh -huh. I, I've been the artist, and now I have a record company, but I still want the ultimate respect for the artist. Because without artists, a record company is nothing. Uh -huh. Yes. Another question. Uh, I remember when, when I was a little boy, uh, maybe not a little boy, but it was like uh, maybe five years ago, <laughs> I, told, I told you already my, uh, let's say, journey into trance was started from Armin Van Buren communication. You should know this. And uh, you had, at that time, you had site Armin, arminaudio.nl, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. And, uh, I, re I remember I read that you were studying in the university. So what's your professional education? If it's not a secret. Uh, I'm a lawyer. Uh -huh. I have a law degree. I'm a fully qualified lawyer. But uh, I really enjoyed studying, and uh, I actually miss it sometimes. But for me, music is my passion. You know, so that's why uh, that's why I chose to do this job.
Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Now please press pause, please.